Hey guys, I'm Patrick. I'm a flight nurse with Carolina Air Care, which is affiliated here at UNC Medical Center. Uh, to be a flight nurse, there's a couple different requirements that we have to have. Uh, one for us nurses, we have to have our bachelor's in science of nursing. Generally, we have to have about three years experience inside the hospital and multiple different certifications, advanced trauma certifications, our life support uh, certifications for pediatrics and neonates and adults. Uh, but we love our job. I specifically love the job. It's very high adrenaline. Uh, we have a lot of fun flying, getting to work with a lot of different people. And uh, we get to be in this type of environment here with our aircraft, so we're always staying on our toes. There's a, a lot of different things that you need to focus on in school that kind of translate into becoming a flight nurse or a flight medic. Uh, mainly important are your mathematics. We do a lot of calculations with the, the medications that we give to our patients. Teamwork is huge. We collaborate with everyone on the team from other nurses, other medics, doctors, the patients, family, and other staff members. So building a strong foundation with your working groups in school definitely translates into our environment. Uh, other things that we really focus on, um, your reading, writing are very important. We have a pretty extensive charting documentation system that we use to communicate with other healthcare affiliates. And uh, so our peers can review all of our work as well. But our environment's fun, we work very hard. And uh, if you come with me, I'll show you around in our aircraft here and see how we work. So here in the aircraft, we have a couple pieces of equipment that are very important to us in the, the health and safety of our patients when we're flying. First thing you'll see here is our monitor. That gives us an image of someone's heart rhythm, how they're looking, how they're breathing too. We measure their oxygen saturations on there and their blood pressure. This device the next to them is a ventilator. It just helps our patients breathe if they're not breathing on their own. And uh, over here we have a, a medication pump that if we're delivering any medications that have to consistently go on and be consistently delivered to our patients, we're using that guy right there. Down here below, as you see, it's a kind of a, a, a tight close quarter here and this is uh, the stretcher with the patient's head being closest towards us so that way we can work on them, work on their airway if we need to. Over here we have um, some of our communications that we'll use. We hook up into our helmets so we can talk to one another. We have different bags that we bring into the hospitals or on scenes with us too to make sure that we can stabilize our patient if we need to before we get into the aircraft and head on to the way to the hospital. But as you see in such a close quarters here, it's very, very important. Clear, concise uh, communication between us, our pilots, um, and even with our patients. Safety is a very, very important element of our job. Paying, paying specific attention to rules and protocols. Some of the same things that you would do inside school when you're given directions on different assignments. We kind of follow the same, uh, same set of rules, and, but it's our own related towards medications and things that we can do to help our patients and ensure their safety. So taking all of those things lumped together can make you a perfect fit for the air medical environment and working in healthcare. This is our aircraft, this is the EC-135. I'll show you a couple of quick features here that we have. Um, on the bottom, you'll see our skids and we have sleds up on them where we can land in any different terrain. As you see here, we're on our uh, pad that we can take in and out of our hangar, uh, depending upon how the weather is to protect the aircraft. And one of the neat features that you'll see with this aircraft is we load our patient in the back. There are some of the aircrafts, uh, two that we have in our company that will actually side load our patient in the side to get them into the aircraft. But around back here is where we grab uh, our structure and where we load the patient up once we're leaving the scene or the referring hospital. The stretcher will just come right in and out once we unlock here, just like this. It will come down. Once we're in, we can load back and secure the stretcher here. But most of the medical aircrafts have that back loading feature. Uh, but as I said, we do have a couple that load from the side and then they just fasten up here. Two locking device mechanisms. Um, back here, uh, you'll see our tail rotor. This one is actually enclosed and that's, that's not the case for all aircraft. Some of them are open. So it's one of our main things when we land somewhere, whether that be a highway or a field, is that we have someone always watching our tail at all times to make sure if those blades are spinning that no one's around them 
um, protecting the integrity of our scene and all everyone around the scene itself. So over here is the pilot seat. This is where he or she who's operating the aircraft sits. As you can see in the background there, we have all of our controls. It's range from our GPS systems, our radio systems to communicate with other hospitals or the crew members in the aircraft, and all of the steering devices that they use to operate and navigate the actual aircraft itself.